हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द जीनर ब्रेकडाउन एंड द एवलांस ब्रेकडाउन सो व्हाट इज जीनर ब्रेकडाउन वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन डिटेल देन वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज एवलांस ब्रेकडाउन इन डिटेल देन वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर बोथ ऑफ देम सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन विद द जीनर ब्रेकडाउन Now in the Zener breakdown, we all know what is a breakdown. The reverse bias, the forward bias, we have the current which is increasing non-linearly. But in the reverse bias current, first it is very less, and after a certain voltage, it is going to increase very much, right? So this voltage is the which current is going to increase very much is known as my breakdown voltage, right? So now here what happens at the breakdown? If this breakdown is occurring below 6 volt we have the zener breakdown now in the zener breakdown we have the electrostatic attraction between the electron as well as large positive voltage so if we have the large positive voltage electrons are going to attract towards it right so when the electrons are having very high attraction towards the positive voltage so it is going to pull out the electrons out of the covalent bond of the silicon as well so we have some free electrons but some electrons were there in the covalent bond of the silicon as well so when the electrons from the covalent bond of the silicon will go out because of the high voltage then this is going to cause the breakdown right so due to which if i have more and more number of electrons i will be having the higher current in the circuit so electrons are transferred from the valence to the conduction band and when the more electrons are present in the conduction band i will be having the more flow of current so you can see after the breakdown region we will be having very high current so we all know we have the limited current with the help of limited electrons but after the breakdown if i have the unlimited electrons i will be having the unlimited current right so zener breakdown is going to cause without the damaging the semiconductor because these electrons can always come back and make the covalent bond again right so zener breakdown is not going to damage our device so this thing you must be understanding so now in the zener breakdown one condition must be satisfied that both side of the pn junction are heavily doped so whenever i am making the zener diode i must take both sides to be very heavily doped right p side as well as n side to be very heavy doped then i combine them if i make the diode with the heavily doped p and n sides then it will be acting as zener diode so this is a must condition for the zener diode now here i will be having narrow depletion layer because if i have very high doping so when i have very high doping the depletion layer width is going to decrease the depletion layer width is inversely proportional to the doping concentration it is going to produce very strong dielectric field right so we will be having very strong dielectric field here and the large number of electrons and holes are produced and the zener current will be independent of the applied voltage right so these are all of the characteristics of the zener breakdown now let's understand about the avalanche breakdown now in the avalanche breakdown we are applying so high electrical voltage so electrical voltage is so high that the electron that is pulled out is going to accelerate with a very high velocity now when this electron is going to accelerate with a very high velocity it is going to strike another electron and it is going to knock off more electrons right you must have seen avalanche which are coming down the hill so we have a snowball which is going to come down the hill when the snowball is moving down the hill it is going to increase in size it is going to magnify in the size so same in the same manner if i have one electron if one electron got striked out due to the avalanche effect it is going to strike out one more electron now two electron will strike out four electron now four electron will strike out eight electrons so this is how we will be having more and more electrons and this is going to resemble the avalanche that we have on the mountains so knocked electrons are also accelerated and they are going to subsequently collide with the other electrons and if i have the outer electrons the outer electrons are moving out they are moving out with a very high velocity they are colliding they are again producing the electrons the produced electrons will move accelerate 
collide produce electron so collision produce more and more electrons and more and more electrons will produce more and more collisions so current increases very rapidly and semiconductor can be quickly damaged if i am using it after the avalanche breakdown right so both side of the pn junction are lightly doped in this case and when the lightly doped pn junction would be there i will be having the larger depletion region depletion region would be larger right so when the depletion region is larger the electric field would not be so strong over here and the electron hole pairs are generated are less so we will be having lesser electron hole pair generated and the charge carrier acquire energy from the applied potential so this is how you can say we have the difference in the zener and the avalanche breakdown zener breakdown was having the condition that we should have the pn junction which is heavily doped here we have the lightly doped there we had the small depletion region here we have the large depletion layer there we were having high electric field or strong electric field here it is not so there we had a lot of electron hole pair generated here we are not having them so here we are having the charge carriers which are dependent upon on the applied potential there the charge carriers were not dependent upon the applied potential so i hope you understood what is zener breakdown what is avalanche breakdown and what is the difference between both of them so if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much